What's going on, YouTube? Um, Sunday afternoon, and down here in Denver right now. Just went ahead and picked up a new Smith & Wesson 642. <clears throat> I've actually owned one before, and uh, ended up getting rid of it for whatever reason, which was just kind of stupid. And so anyways, I put my car P380 on consignment and it ended up selling. So I went ahead and picked up a Smith & Wesson 6, the Smith & Wesson 642. Oh my God, people are driving close to me. Look at that, look at that idiot. Holy shit. All right, so anyways, why did I pick up a 38? Um, let alone one I've already had before. Reason being is that I I had one a couple years ago. I did a video on it. You seen it? But um, I ended up selling it off for whatever reason, and I had all the I had you know a speed loader and all this 38 ammo that was just sitting around. Well, it didn't make a lot of sense for me to have all this 38 ammo but no 38 caliber pistol, and, and I, I really don't even remember why I sold it off other than other than I probably wanted something else you, you know I mean you know how we gun owners are you know Pete from the Armory channel is kind of the same way you know he talks about you know losing money and going through guns and, and trading up and trading down and, and so on and so forth so that's basically what it is I went up to 5280 Armory up in Arvada this is this is downtown Denver right now just so you guys can see it and uh, driving on Spear right now, right there by Auraria. Okay, so, anyways, um, picked up, or went up to 5280 Armory today. Really, I was up there looking for ammo. Uh, I got a little rebate card back from, uh, from T-Mobile since I got a new phone. 100 bucks, not, not bad, you know, 100 bucks I didn't have, so. And I went ahead and you know, bought some ammo. So I got two boxes of CCI Blazer 45 Auto and a box of Independence 9mm. Weird thing is that they have limits on the 9mm. It's two boxes, the limit. I, I just bought one. But 45 is unlimited. There's no limit on how much 45 you can buy. So go figure. They're pretty well stocked. Uh, background check for the gun took about 20 minutes. So things are pretty much, for the most part, back to some, some semblance of, of uh, normalcy, uh, normalcy, you know what, and uh, so they're not like they're they're not as crazy as they were before. So that's good. Went up there and I was looking at 1911s. I just now I'm going to talk about the 1911s for a second. My PS90 that I also had on consignment did a video on that. You've seen it. That sold. Um, just didn't have much use for it. it. Like I said, it was I was gonna sell it and get a, a 5.7 pistol. The 5.7 pistols are 1,500 bucks. It's even for a used one, it's ridiculous. So I bought a nice brand new Colt 1911. So I'll do a review on that. Um, hopefully today at some point. Uh, I bought that last Monday on April 15th. So it's a, it's a Colt 1911 XSE government model. Really, really beautiful handgun. So I so I've got that. And then, um, so I went up there and I started looking at 1911s. I looked at a stainless steel Rock Island Armory, which was beautiful, just beautiful. And then I looked at a stainless steel uh, Springfield Armory mil spec, which was a couple hundred bucks more, also beautiful. It actually had a tan Hogue rubber grips on it, and I'd never and if you and I'd never seen that on a stainless pistol before, but I thought it was I thought it was pretty gorgeous. So um, thought it was real pretty. I liked it. Anyways, didn't end up getting the 1911s because I just bought a brand new one. I just bought a brand new, pretty expensive one. You know, I'll get to the price in the video. I'll explain all that. So I said, well, I don't need a 1911, but I have all this 38 ammo, and I might as well buy a 38. I was going to buy... I was going to... Oh. Okay, all right. I'll just keep going. I'm trying to drive a six-speed in, in film, and... Probably shouldn't be doing that, but yeah, it is. Well, I'm doing it anyways. Um, so, 
you know, I'd been wanting to, I, I, I'd been needing a 38 for a while because of all the ammo, and I've got a speed loader for it, and, and everything like that. But I just, there weren't any out there that really grabbed me, and I was like, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up a 38 at some point. They're a dime a dozen. The, the Smith, little Smith 38s, you know, are, are fairly cheap, so, and they're pretty common, so I'll buy one just whenever. Well, today was the day for whenever. Um, I was talking to a coworker on Saturday, and he picked up one, and um, had me thinking, you know, how much I kind of missed mine, and I was like, you know, I can just buy just a little plain Jane 38, and I have something to carry when it's warm out, other than my, my Glock 36 or my kel P380, and, uh, you know, because that's, because when it's hot, I, I tend to carry the smaller guns, when it's, when it's warm, or when it's cold, you know, I carry full-size things, like my Beretta 92, I've carried that already when it was cold out here. I've carried uh, my Glock 17 9mm, I've carried that, you know, I've, I've, I'll probably carry my 1911 at some point when it gets when it gets cold. But when it gets warm and it's starting to warm up, it's about 65 today, which which is yeah, decent for, for April in Colorado. We kind of go through this manic weather. Um, but the point is, springtime's here, before you know it, summer's going to be here, so I need something for for warm weather carry, something to just throw in my pocket, but something that'll have a little more power than the kel 380, but not quite as uh, bulky as the Glock 36, which I'm carrying right now, as a matter of fact. So I went back to the Smith & Wesson 642. So, yep, there it is. Nice gun. Um, I'll probably just show it in a, in a video. I'm driving through a tunnel right now, that's why it looks like that. I'll probably just show it in a video just to just to show you guys what it you know that's basically the same one that I had before you know stainless it's you know stainless steel internal lock plain black rubber grips you know very very much a plain Jane just little little basic little 38 so and my car P380 when it sold it it paid for it so really this excuse me this gun didn't cost me a dime you know in essence so um, what else, what else, what else? That's it. Let's give you guys a shot here. This is Spear Boulevard in Denver. Coming up on Logan. That's the Nine News uh, News Center, if you can see that. I don't know how many local people really watch my videos. There's not, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of Colorado YouTubers. I'm probably wrong about that, but... Anyway, so, yep. There's the there's the neighborhood over there. Oh, there it is. There's the neighborhood over there. I did a video on uh, Wednesday. You guys seen it? About my my neighborhood. There it is over there. That's my neighborhood. So, yep. So, anyways, yep. Just picked up new 38 on uh, today, Sunday, the 21st. Check my watch. Oh yeah, Luminox Navy Seal time. So, and uh. Stay tuned for the review on the Colt XSE government. And that's it. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.